Welcome to the Tuesday, July 9th, 2013 edition of Erner Berry's Daily Video, sponsored by the NAMP Meat Buyer's Guide Online. In today's video, U.S. salmon imports hit a 10-year benchmark. And later, the post-holiday egg market notes some hot weather impacts. Now let's look at the markets with your host, Jamie Chadwick. The International Seafood Sustainability Foundation has announced the completion of its five-year strategic plan that will guide the organization's goal of promoting continued tuna fishery sustainability practices. According to the foundation's president, Susan S. Jackson, the new 2013-2017 plan will be supported by continuous, demonstrable improvements maintaining transparency and rewarding companies who operate sustainable tuna business. You can read the foundation's entire five-year plan and get other seafood industry news by heading over to seafoodnews.com. In other news, the latest U.S. salmon import figures have reached levels not seen in 10 years. Here is Seafood.com News staff writer Michael Ramsing with more. Fresh salmon fillet imports to the U.S. reached a 10-year high in May, largely due to Chilean production outpacing levels not seen since 2005. According to the U.S. Department of Commerce, the U.S. imported 19.3 million pounds of fresh farmed Atlantic salmon fillets in May, a 10-year high figure. In fact, year-to-date U.S. salmon imports are up 19% to 97.4 million pounds, also good for a 10-year high figure. Chile has been the main driver behind this surge in U.S. imports since recovering from an isovirus outbreak that crippled production in 2009, 10, and 11. And operations have rebounded, with year-to-date exports totaling 79.1 million pounds, a 27% increase over 2012 levels, and the highest such figure since 2005. For more in-depth analysis of the 2013 U.S. salmon market, be sure to check out the July 2013 Salmon Insiders Report due out this month by clicking the World Trade link under the Seafood tab in Com Tell. Thanks, Michael. We conclude today's video with Erner Berry Egg Market reporter Brian Moscajeri offering up a post 4th of July look at the U.S. egg market. Yesterday's national shell egg inventories reported by the USDA is 1,013.2 thousand cases, advancing 4% from last week's figure, but is down 5.2% when compared to the same week last year. Retail and food service demand peaked during the middle of last week, just ahead of the holiday. Wholesale traders are waiting on weekend sales results but have noticed increased availability in all size categories. Sellers are holding asking prices on the larger sizes but can no longer achieve premiums seen in recent sessions. At the same time, warmer weather conditions have been seen across the country, which typically adversely affect flock outputs and consumption patterns. Currently, the market is considered steady with most participants exuding a wait and see attitude. You can see more market news and analysis in the U.S. egg industry by exploring the egg tab on Comtel. Thanks, Brian. That concludes today's video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Today's video is sponsored by the NAMP Meat Buyer's Guide Online, an interactive way for you to learn and understand more about the items you buy and sell. The NAMP Meat Buyer's Guide Online features high-definition videos for all of your major red meat items. Head to meatbuyersguide.com to view a demo and sign up today.